to Brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. The Noisy Night. Peppa's family are having a sleepover at Cousin Chloe's house. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. You must be tired after your long journey. Yes, an early night would be nice. First, we'll put baby Alexander to bed. <laughs> <laughs> this is baby Alexander's bedroom. <laughs> Alexander likes noise. It sends him to sleep. <laughs> we like noise in this house. We're a noisy family. Peppa, George, you're staying in my room tonight. Oh, goody. <laughs> Pepper and George are excited to be sleeping in Cousin Chloe's bedroom. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Night, night. Everyone is tucked up in their beds, asleep. <coughs> Baby Alexander is awake. <coughs> Pepper and George are awake. What's that noise? It's the vacuum cleaner. Um, why are you vacuuming at night? We're not disturbing you, are we? What? Oh, no! We found noise is the best way to get baby Alexander back to sleep. He likes noise. We're a noisy family. Everyone is back in their beds, asleep. Baby Alexander is awake. Why is Auntie Kate playing a trumpet? To get Alexander to sleep. The more noise, the better. Is there another way that doesn't use noise? We do find noise is the best way. When George was a baby, we used to put him in his pram and wheel him around the house. And that always sent him to sleep. How strange. No loud noises. That's right. How many times round the house was it, Mummy Pig? Three times? Fifty times. <sighs> Daddy Pig is pushing baby Alexander around the house. Fifty times. <sighs> Good. Baby Alexander is asleep. Can you let me back in? I'll just switch the alarm off. Switch the alarm back on. Peppa, what are you doing up? I can't sleep, Daddy. It's a noisy night. OK, Peppa. Let's get you back to bed. Now. Which bedroom are you staying in? Stop, Daddy! That's baby Alexander's room! Ah. <coughs> the light has woken baby Alexander. It's all right. I've got the vacuum cleaner. I've got the trumpet. Stop! Stop! I remember another quiet way we used to get George to sleep. Oh, yes! We drove him around in the car. I'll get the car started. Don't forget the Daddy Pig has set off the noisy house alarm. The noisy house has woken everyone up. It's Miss Rabbit in her rescue helicopter. Is everybody all right down there? I heard the alarm. Yes, thank you. All right. Cheerio. Baby Alexander to sleep. He's really fast asleep now. Oh, thanks to my noisy daddy. Well done, Daddy Pig. We should have you to stay more often. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. The fish.
fish pond. Peppa and her family are having a day out. We're going to see a pond that has little fish swimming in it. Ooh! <laughs> I used to go there when I was a boy. We're here. Where's the fish pond? It's in the middle of the woods. We have to walk to it. Will we get lost like we always do? Oh, oh no. Remember, I came here when I was a little piggy. But that's a long time ago, Daddy Pig. In the olden days. Thank you, Peppa. Well, in the olden days, we started the walk by going along a path. Ah, this is the one. How do you know? There are little flowers growing here, just like I remember. Things might have changed, Daddy Pig. Oh, oh nothing changes that much. Now, we walk past some little trees until we come to a big tree. I think the little trees have grown. Oh, yes. They do all seem big, don't they? How are we going to find the right big tree? Oh, <laughs> oh it's usually me that walks into trees. Mummy Pig has found the big tree. Clever Mummy! <laughs> I knew it would still be here. This way, everybody. Are we nearly at the fish pond yet? Almost there. But I'm getting a bit hungry. Don't worry. There's a cafe on the way. Oh, lovely. I could do with a nice cup of coffee. Can George and I have ice creams, please? <laughs> of course. Ice creams for everyone. <laughs> the cafe should be just about here. Oh. Where's the cafe? Is it behind that rotten pile of wood? I think that rotten pile of wood is the cafe. Oh. Uh. There's not going to be any ice creams coming out of that today. Hello. What can I get you? Oh. A cup of coffee and three ice creams, please. Of course. Thank you. Mmm. Delicious. Next stop, the fish pond. This way. Oh, you don't want to go that way. That goes straight into a blackberry bush. Aha. It's the shortcut. It's the way I went when I was a boy. No. If you want to go to the fish pond, you need to go up that path. Well, I'm taking the shortcut. All right. Who wants to go through a blackberry bush? Me. And who wants to go on the path? Me. <laughs> Race you, Daddy! Ho, ho! I'll get there first. Bye! I hope the fish pond is still here. Yes, everything seems a bit different to what Daddy remembers. What's that? It's the fish pond. George, let's see the little fish. <laughs> oh, Daddy said that the fish were tiny. But they're ginormous! It's been a long time since Daddy was here. The fish have got a lot bigger. Like Daddy's tummy. Oh, <laughs> oh where is Daddy? Oh, he might be lost. I'd better ring him. There's a phone ringing in that bush. Hello, Mr Pig speaking. It's Daddy. Oh, <laughs> hello. I'm stuck. Hello, Daddy. Hang on. We'll pull you out. One, two, three, pull! <laughs> Daddy is a blackberry bush. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the fish pond. Let's see the little fish. Whoa, that's a big fish. Oh, look. There's something glittering. They're coins. When I was little, we used to throw a coin in the pond and make a wish. Can we throw coins in? <laughs> Of course. I wish the fish pond stays here forever. Oh, oh, that's what I wished for when I was a little piggy. And your wish came true, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Brother George, this is Mummy Pig, and this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig, the wishing well. Grandpa Pig is showing Pepper and George around his garden. Here are my cabbages, broccoli, and sprouts. Ooh. 
potatoes, carrots, and beetroots live here, and over there is the fruit. What is this, Grandpa? That, Pepper, is a weed. What is a weed? A weed is a cheeky plant growing in the wrong spot. Oh. Pull it out and throw it in this bucket. There's no room for weeds in my tidy garden. <laughs> Grandpa Pig is very proud of his garden. Maybe there is room to grow a little strawberry here. In the middle of my carrots? No, Peppa. Strawberries belong with a fruit. Everything has its place. Isn't that right, Granny Pig? Yes, Grandpa. Can we find a little place for this? Uh. No. What is it, Granny? It's a plastic gnome, Pepper, and he's going to live in our garden. Oh, no, he isn't. There's no room. There's plenty of room. What about here? I can't have that ugly thing looking at me all day. Pepper, George, do you think my gnome looks ugly? No, Granny. I think he looks cute. <laughs> there, Grandpa. You're outnumbered. The gnome stays. Ah! And here come the rest of them. What? Mr. Bull is bringing Mr. Gnome a truckload of new friends. Yippee! But gardens are for plants, not plastic. Moo! Where do you want the gnomes? We don't want gnomes, thank you. Oh! Goodbye. Naughty Grandpa Pig. Those are Granny Pig's gnomes. Oh, it appears we do want gnomes. Okie dokie! They're lovely! There's this as well! Cheerio! Thank you, Mr. Ball. Goodbye! Bye-bye! What's this? A giant gnome? No, Grandpa. It's a well. What is a well? A well, Pepper, is a very deep hole with water in it. Ooh! And as it happens, I do need water for my garden, so a well will be useful. But that is not a well. It's made of plastic and there's no hole. It's beautiful. What's the point of a well without water? It's a wishing well. You throw a coin into it and make a wish. Can I make a wish, Granny? Of course, Peppa. Here's a little coin. I wish, I wish, I wish. Oh, don't tell us what you're wishing for. OK. Finished! Very good. Granny, do the wishes always come true? Yes. Oh, goody. But now it's time for Grandpa to take you home. Bye-bye, Granny. Bye-bye. Goodbye, my little ones. Grandpa, you are very lucky having a wishing well in your garden. Do you think so, Peppa? Yes. You can wish for things whenever you want. Hmm. And the wishes always come true, because Granny Pig said so. Yes. Do you want to know what I wished for, Grandpa? What did you wish for, Peppa? I wish that I could have a wishing well and gnomes in my garden. Oh, well, I think we can do that. Pepper and George have arrived home. Mummy, Daddy, I made a wish and it came true. Really? What did you wish for, Pepper? Lots of gnomes and a wishing well for our garden. <sighs> oh. Uh, Grandpa Pig, I don't think we have enough room. Nonsense! You've got plenty of room. Uh, yes. I suppose so. <laughs> Pepper and George love gnomes and wishing wells. Everybody loves gnomes and wishing wells. <laughs>